all and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Please remember while we're going through the uh, program to call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen. 637-PRAY. That's 307. 637-PRAY. That's 7729. Don't go through things alone. Let God give you a breakthrough. I'm telling you, we're seeing miraculous things on the prayer lines. Uh, just amazing things. And it just, I sometimes I want to pinch myself. I'm thinking, wow, God. Thank you for doing that. And so if you're one out there and you haven't had some agreement and you need something to happen in your life, I had one guy call and I happened to pray for him. And uh, then he called and gave a testimony. He said that he had called and went to, I mean, a lot of big healing ministries and went to their conferences and went up forward and, and just never could still walk. And he said one day he was watching God's view and God just did it. Wow. He just wow. did it. Oh. And, and you know, that, those kind of amazing miracles, I love, I, it's just so awesome. I mean, it just Touches thrills us. me to no mm -hmm. end. And I mean, so that should tell you something. You can go all the faith healers wherever you want, but it, one second, God can heal you. That's Touch right. the hem of a garment. Yeah. And I don't Amen. know why, but he said we stretched our hands. We had a healing show. We were talking mm. about healing. And he says he has he didn't walk with a cane wow. or anything Woo. anymore. That's, that's awesome. Praise Lord, God. Praise God. So praise awesome. God. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, that's why we love those prayer lines. We know uh, we get feedback of what we're doing. So, but anyways, mm -hmm. we don't want to talk about all that right now. I want to start out with legalism. I want to start out with one of the definitions to legalism. And what it is, is um, excessive adherence to law or formula. Mm -hmm. How many formulas have we followed, girls, mm -hmm. in the church setting, yep. in all mm -hmm. kinds of other settings? Uh, uh, God, programs and things that were just really formulas. Mm -hmm. And that God did not ordain that it was just the following or a pattern of something. Or maybe, mm -hmm. and I don't want to bash a church or anything because, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. But I'm talking about, you know, uh, the law. And what did Jesus come to do? He came, it said, to redeem us from the curse what, of the of law yes. of sin and death. Mm -hmm. And so obviously it brings sin, it brings death because law... You know, we've been redeemed mm -hmm. by the blood of the Lamb. And God, in His Word, called those people in legalism, mm -hmm. He called them whitewashed tombs. Mm -hmm. He called, oh my gosh, He called yeah. them a lot of names. He even he said to them one them. time, remember, He says, you say that you're born again, and then you get somebody else, and then you take them. Uh, uh, the widow. Yeah, well, no, it says, you make them more sons of hell yeah. than your I mean, yeah. that is a big Because story. you indoctrinate them. You indoctrinate them. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm in legalism and mm -hmm. all those sorts of things and so God is saying all those things and I'm going to look up that scripture because that's a powerful scripture and then I have other scripture but you guys shoot well, and it talks <laughs> about the traditions and what you were saying it reminds me of the scripture and I, I, I was looking it up at traditions of a mm. men make the power of God of no no, no power yes. and no Ooh, fact and so yes, you know and and, and I'm I'm not saying the traditions we have you know Christmas traditions no. to do things with our family family traditions but when we go on formulas and when we are we're walking in um, we're doing it just because it's the way we do it. We're not listening to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So the power of God isn't there to really move us. And, and, and if God's speaking something, well, no, we have to do it this way because this is the way we do it, you know? Mm -hmm. And it keeps us from actually stepping out and doing what God mm -hmm. says to do and mm -hmm. hearing His voice and obeying. Let's read mm -hmm. that scripture. Yes. It's in Mark 7, 13. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down and you do many things like this. And so that's a, that's a big deal. And if you yeah. go into Mark 7, you can read a lot about that. But sometimes we just have to give a portion of Scripture. You know, I had somebody mm -hmm. call one day, talking about legalism and everything else, and said, well, you guys need to bring the rest of that in. Well, I said to her, in 28 minutes, you cannot do that. Yeah. So we can only give the parts that God has put on each one of our hearts we could. <laughs> and bring that to you. I wish we could take a six hour and bring it all, but we can't. Yeah. Come on. That and, doesn't even make yeah. sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when we work hard in order to earn God's favor, we're not operating in faith. Instead, we're saying that we must add to the finished work of Jesus mm. on the cross. Yeah. And so mm. what did God say oh. when he was on the cross and he was about to die? Mm. He said, it is finished. Why do we have to feel like we have to add to that? Amen. Why do we feel like what he did isn't enough, so we have to do, that his work wasn't enough, and therefore we, we must work to make him wow. happy. We wow. must take on our own hands to be accepted by God. 
And yeah. so, see, legal, legalism is motivated by self-ambition. Mm -hmm. And it says, I want to take my good works and show them off to God. That's what it says. Exactly. And so pride. legalism, it's wow. pride. Basically, yeah, legalism good. is pride. Mm -hmm. And so legalism, and this is my own little um, definition, legalism is good works without believing that God justifies us by faith alone. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. You know, Charlene, you, you said that, that Jesus had more trouble with the scribes and the Pharisees uh -huh. than anyone. Mm -hmm. And they were the legalists of mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. But not only that, as I was studying for this, I found out that, the, think, think about it, the scribes and the Pharisees were not selected by God. Mm -mm, no. They selected themselves. themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They were not exactly. priests. God selected mm -hmm. his priests. Amen. We know who God's priests Exactly. Were. But they uh, not only selected themselves, but they were lawyers. Mm. And so they came up with all these rules and regulations mm -hmm. that God never did. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the Sabbath. They got so carried away with yep. the Sabbath. It, it, it got to the point yeah. where, where they, 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 they wouldn't... Uh, they condemned Jesus for healing on the Sabbath. For condemned him for healing. <laughs> for they, healing. They wouldn't feed their mule. Uh -huh. They wouldn't cook yeah. a meal. Oh, I mean, they goodness. were under so much bondage. It was worse it's than ridiculous. any religion uh -huh. on the face mm -hmm. of this earth. And that's why mm -hmm. Ephesians 2.9 is so important. It says that our salvation is a gift so that no man can boast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why right. it's so important. See, pursuing godliness and legalism, it's not the same. It's yeah. completely different. Sorry, what were you saying? No, that's all right. But but then the the... The uh, Pharisees, they came up with all these horrible rituals. Okay, well, Jesus came against them every time, like the washing of the hands. Well, they would just wash their hands. Of course, we know that's sanitary and that's a thing we should do. No. It had to be a specific water. way. They would go like this. Mm -hmm. They would go like this. They would go like this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a dance. It's like the hokey pokey. They, they got so oh carried goodness. away with it. And, they, and Jesus was just fed up with all He's of it. He's probably laughing. Sabbath, He's like, what in the, the world? The bondage of the mm -hmm. Sabbath to this day uh, is Jesus came against it. And because of that, mm -hmm. they wanted to kill him mm -hmm. because he took all yeah. of their tra with traditions, traditions and rules and laws and yeah. lies and bondage and he just messed Did with it. it. And yeah. you know why? <laughs> it's because legalism is a matter of the heart. Yes. And yeah. so it's not obedience to God or radical love yes. for others. Yes. No. It, legalism is when we're trying to earn God's favor. It's like you said, pride and arrogance. It's all about me mm -hmm. and boasting mm -hmm. how great yes. I am. It's not about your heart and your heart for God. That's right. And your heart for others and doing what, mm -hmm. what what he wants us to do, which is basically just say it's all about you and not me. And, and they never saw themselves as uh, sinners in need of a savior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they thought they were the savior. Exactly. Yeah, they thought they were, had that all <laughs> in the bag too. Well, and if there's, there's so many, there's so much scripture talks about this. And, and sometimes when, when you, you haven't really received the grace of God and you haven't really been, you know, saved, because I know I was there at one point, I didn't even know these scriptures existed. I mean, they were there always. It was like they were hidden, but it talks about, you know, when you're, you're trying to keep the law and you're trying to do everything just right, the veil of Moses comes over yeah. you, yeah. and it hinders, you can't really see clearly. You're, you're more, um, you're walking more in judgment. You're walking more in um, a critical spirit mm -hmm. and then you are, you know, in grace. And so mm -hmm. I think that's what happens until you were able to receive Jesus. And when you receive Jesus, it's it's a receiving. And you're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. You're just re yes. put out your hands and receive and say, yes. yes, I receive you. That's all you're saying is yes to him. And things start changing. But it's the law. It talks about in Galatians 3, there's so much, and I'm not going to go there because there's so much there about so it. Much, mm -hmm. But if you want to talk about the, the law versus grace and, and faith and walking by faith, it's huge because it talks about us being, you know, if we're trying to keep the law, we have to keep every little bit of it. Every we're cursed. Mm -hmm. you know? well, then we'd have to be sacrificed to the bunch of animals. You can choose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so, I mean, we, I grew up in, a, you know, in a, in a place in a, uh, that, that taught we had to do this, this, and keep this day, and this day, and this day, and this day. And, uh, well, yeah, and, and, and you know what? I, what a freedom 
to just receive God. Mm -hmm. What a freedom just to have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. talk to you and tell you mm -hmm. how to move mm -hmm. and groove. You mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. that you don't have to. You don't have to follow such you know rigid laws because it didn't bring life. I wasn't mm -hmm. saved. I was underneath, mm -hmm. and I felt the chains of the darkness come off of me when I got saved and when I got out yeah. of that because it just brings death. It brings death mm -hmm. when you're underneath. And it's death. because ultimately salvation isn't about us. It wasn't about That's what right. you were doing. Yeah. It's about Him yes. mm -hmm. and what He already did. Yes. Yeah. Amen. L legalism has a tendency to fix on the outward appearance. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the yeah. scribes and the Pharisees, yeah. boy, they looked really good. They mm -hmm. dressed well, you know. Mm -hmm. They walked around. They oh, boasted you know, about you know, everything yeah. they did. Yeah. Fathers of the place. But they were full of robbery, greed, mm -hmm. and self righteousness. Too. Yeah. Self righteousness. Yes. Everything they had all these laws about food. They had all these laws about. I mean, everything you had. Yeah. To, it was all legalism. And you know, I had pulled up the scripture, and then you go back. I think you weren't finished. And it talks about Romans 14. Uh, the one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not. Mm -hmm. And the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does. Yeah. For God has accepted them all. How many times do we have this food thing? You got to eat this and you can't eat that <laughs> yeah. and you can't do this, but God mm -hmm. accepts it all. And he mm -hmm. even says in another scripture, just bless it. I'm, it. It's all blessed now. You don't have to sit there and say, oh, you can't eat this and you can't eat that because yeah. God says it's all blessed now. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, I'm going to look up that scripture. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a hard time with that sometimes just because I never grew up eating certain things. And so I still don't even want to try certain things. <laughs> this is like, 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 like shrimp. I don't, I don't go, you know, I don't try so I never tried it. Now. But, but it's because I grew up up not and, and I'm okay with that you know that's just where I'm at with it I don't but I'm not saying it's wrong to have it you know yeah. people mm -hmm. want to have it that's great you know so right they could have mm -hmm. it but there's better <laughs> they things they can have it there's better <laughs> Well, you depending know, on what a, food it is. I don't know. I love seafood. <laughs> I love it, yeah. There's yeah. a story about a, a church in Portland, and they were trying to, they were near a college, and they were trying to incorporate the college kids. So all of the people were very prim and proper. They wore suits and dresses and so forth. And one day, a young man came into the church, and he was dressed in grubby, ripped jeans, and he had a rebellious T-shirt on. His hair was all disheveled. And he walked down the aisle just before the pastor was going to preach and went right up to the front. There were no seats. So the young boy just sat down right in the front on the floor. And everyone in the church, you know, they were really aghast. And they're all sitting there prim and proper. When suddenly an older man in a suit walked down the aisle toward the boy. And they were all thinking, oh, no, he's, he's going to throw this kid out of here. But he walked to the boy. He acknowledged him. And very difficult for him because he was an older man. Mm -hmm. Sat down on the floor yeah, next awesome. to him in worship. Oh, I was hoping that was the end of that yes. story. That's beautiful. <laughs> you were just hoping for the end. Yeah. <laughs> I was, you know, I said, I bet you he's going to sit down with him. Oh, and really? That's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. But isn't that what Jesus great. would do? Right? That's yes, what Jesus that's exactly would do. what Jesus he would do. He sat with the sinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, he wouldn't I, sit there and throw them out. Tax no, yes. collectors. It was a very poor church. Very poor people went to this church but the Holy Spirit was so powerful but sometimes people would come in and they didn't smell very good but you know I would see them six months later after they got in the word and were walking with Jesus and how the Lord cleaned them up mm -hmm. they were you would have never Completely recognized changed. that they wow. were the same person mm -hmm. people Amen. yeah it's good and it's not our job to clean up people it's uh -oh. God's job no you know, that's Amen. that and that's why I think legalism you know you got to do it this way and you got to wear this and that but that's not our job to no. tell people that it's not a, a it's not a church's job to tell people they have to do certain things a certain way. Mm -hmm. Love on them. Show them the love of God. God will mm -hmm. show them. Exactly. He, will, he will bring truth to them. He will change their hearts, even if they're doing some. I, I think it's such a critical thing not mm -hmm. to bring too much I mean there's times when you have to bring some correction but there this this kind of thing God says you know just just love on them just love exactly. on them and I'll bring the changes to their yes. hearts mm -hmm. yes yes mm -hmm. amen yes. yeah legalism's never a good thing yeah this is a perfect example that. of it Jesus said in Matthew 23:23 woe to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you tithe, mint, and dill, and cumin, you have neglected the weightier provisions of the law, justice, 
and mercy and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. But these are the things you have done without neglecting the others. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a perfect example. They chose, pick and choose. They had to memorize, you know, the first four books of the yes. Bible. They oh, had to tie so many days. By 12 years old. Uh, by 12 years old. Oh. There's all these things you had to do, but yet the things that mattered to God, yes. the justice, the mercy, the faithfulness, those are the things wow. that neglected. Right. And that's exactly what legalism does. It lies to us and it says that, oh, we're, we're self-righteous. We can do whatever because we're not as bad as they are. Mm -hmm. We do this. It, 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 it boasts, it becomes self-righteous to where you're right because everything you do. And it's not about what God did anymore. It becomes only, only about what you've done and what you're doing. Yeah. They, they would follow the tithe. Oh, they would pay the tithe. And only, not only that, but on, on top of it, they would pay through seasonings and so forth. They would mm -hmm. just be so, mm -hmm. so correct about that. Mm -hmm. But then they wouldn't give any money to their parents, their older parents who needed it. Because you know, there was no mercy. There was no love behind it. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. had to be shocked. And, well, yeah. and, and children, many times, when there's rules and regulations like that in the home, and you have to only look good, it, mm -hmm. it steals a child's joy. Yeah. It, 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 the outward conformity of rules and regulations, mm -hmm. when, when we want to teach that Jesus is freedom and happiness and righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you know what they reaped because of it? So sorry. They reaped greater condemnation. Jesus said that in Matthew 23, 14. He said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you devour widows', widows houses. Yes. yes. So because That's of that, good. he said, you will receive double condemnation. So it's very dangerous, actually. Sorry, what yeah. you're saying? No, no. I'm just saying when you pretend, when you're a pretender, and you're living in a house, and you're a pretender in that house, your kids can see right through you. Mm -hmm. yes. People around yes. you can mm -hmm. see right Hurt through you. You're not yeah. hiding anything. And guess what? <laughs> yeah. God sees it. And, you Amen. know, He holds you accountable for your house. He holds you accountable for how your children are affected by it. He holds you accountable by those people around you are affected by yes. your hypocrisy. And I'm just saying that and not bring condemnation, but I'm just saying don't be a hypocrite. Be real. You know, allow God to do work on your heart because that outward appearance isn't the most important thing mm -mm. okay that outward appearance some people are so concerned <coughs> about what they look like in front of people well they maybe they hurt my reputation you know they made mm -hmm. me look this way you know let god right the wrongs okay let yes. god take yes. care of that yeah. but be real don't be real with your children because i i feel like so strong that these this affects people so much they see uh hypocrisy they see maybe at home they say they're christian they go to church and they're doing either maybe serving in their home hurting or abusing their children or yeah. talking yes. you know trash and, and, yes. and so it's you know so good. let's let our walk line up you know, with what we do outside our home, what we do at the church, mm -hmm. you know, it should be everywhere. Yeah. Our life should be able to, you should be able to be an open book. That's and perfect. When no one's I want to go off. Yeah, I want to go off on that. Because in Luke 11, that was perfect. I just mm -hmm. pulled this up. And you're talking about the outside and the inside because yeah. people are going to yeah. know. And he says, whoa to the Pharisees and the experts in the law. When Jesus had finished speaking, a Pharisee invited him to eat with him. So he went in and reclined at the table. But the Pharisee was surprised when he noticed that Jesus did not first wash before the meal. I mean, yeah. see, everybody yeah. expects somebody on this outward thing to do something. But then the Lord said to him, now then you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup yeah. and the dish, mm -hmm. but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You foolish people, did not the one who made the outside make the inside yeah. also? Yeah. It's, this is great from what mm -hmm. you just said. Mm -hmm. But now as for what is inside you, be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for you. How many times did he say the fast in Isaiah 58 and everything? Yeah. If you'll just give to the poor and if you'll just bless me. I mean, he keeps saying these things. Woe to you, you mm -hmm. Pharisees, because you love the most important seats in the synagogues <laughs> and respectful greetings in the market places and then he goes to you again woe to you mm. because you are like unmarked graves mm. with people which people walk over without knowing it wow. one of the experts in the law answered him teacher when you say these things you insult us <laughs> <laughs> exactly yes, what i meant uh, yeah. yeah jesus is like duh uh -huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, exactly. That's kind you of the point. And then he goes, yeah, snakes. you brood of snakes. Yeah. Prince, and then Jesus them. replied and said, you experts so-called in the law, woe to you, because you load people down with burdens mm, they yes. can hardly carry, yeah. and you yourselves will not lift one finger to help them. How many times yeah. have we seen this? Yeah. Woe to you, he says, because you built tombs for the prophets, and it was your ancestors who killed them. So you testify mm -hmm. that you approve of what your ancestors did. They killed the prophets and you build their tombs because of this God in his wisdom said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and others they will persecute. Therefore, this generation will be held responsible for the blood of all the prophets mm. that has been shed since the beginning of the world. Wow. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was killed between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be held responsible for it all. He goes, woe to you experts in the law because you have taken away the key to knowledge mm -hmm. because wow. of their because of their law in their garbage you yourselves have not entered and you have hindered those who were entering this that gives me chills when Jesus went outside, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law began to oppose him fiercely. Well, of course, when somebody's in legalism and all that, they want you to be burdened, like you said, you yeah. put all this yeah. stuff. But boy, if you say one thing against it, or if maybe a whole church these hour is doing it, boy, they'll fiercely come against you oh, and yeah. say, this is God. This is God. Bless God. So he says, and fiercely and to besiege him with mm. questions, waiting to catch him in something he might say, isn't that heartbreaking? Waiting, just that legalism will wait to catch you and put mm -hmm. you in a net and bound you up. Yeah. And you know, but guess what God said, even mm -hmm. when birds get caught, he said, I've released you from the snare of the fowler. Yeah. And so as he releases you and he has cut the nets and he has cut the bonds of wickedness, he has cut legalism and all those things off of you mm -hmm. for me lesson all those man today if you feel you have moved at all in legalism mm -hmm. at all it's this easy yeah. father God yes. just you, father. forgive me of yes. legalism yes. I want to hear clearly from you I don't want to hear a whoa I want to hear a wow I love you and yes. uh, you've got this father I just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for everybody watching yes. this show yes. that God legalism is yes. broke yes. off of them yes. religion is Jesus broke over them yes. that they will not hear woes from God, but they will hear, well done, good and faithful servant, when they enter in at the yes, end of this Lord. race, and that, Lord, even right now, yeah. that they will be able to live a life of freedom, just like you said, legalism puts burdens, and, and God said to those people, right, that I just read, that you put this on people, you legalism, you Pharisees, you Sadducees, and so, Lord, we ask that you take the Sadducee and the Pharisee attitude off of your people, yes, deliver them, Lord, if any of us have ever operated in the legalism or fell prey to that God even on this panel break it God yeah. yes, we are crying yes, out to the living God yes, today yes, and yes, we yes, thank yes, you God yes, that you God are setting your people free from legalism yes, in Lord, Jesus Lord, name you, you know it thank all boils you. down to the fact that Jesus is fun he wants us mm -hmm. to have fun mm -hmm. there's no bondage to Christ true Christianity, yeah. amen? Mm -hmm. He loves us. He wants the very best for, for us. us. As far as the Sabbath mm -hmm. is concerned, mm -hmm. he made such a big deal about the Sabbath, and you were talking about it the other uh -huh. day, yeah. that Jesus is our Sabbath. He wants us to rest. Yes. To rest in Him. Everything and if we done. rest in Him every day, we are ready. Mm -hmm. If you want to play <laughs> golf on Sunday, mm -hmm. and that's a, a rest, He wants you to be happy. As yeah, He wants you to have worship yeah, Him, exactly. spend time with Him, and then whatever freedom that you need, whatever is important to you, yeah. God will back you. He's got your back. Yes. He loves you. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen, yeah. amen, amen. amen. It's a powerful subject, yeah, legalism, because, is. I mean, like I said, in Luke um, 11, God himself said uh, that people full of legalism, I mean, he's talking uh, ministries of churches, he's talking other ministers, he's talking, if you are putting that yeah. burden and, and putting that on people, you are responsible and you are accountable. And it's yeah. just, it's a scary, okay. scary so thing. The and the word 
they I know. couldn't cook a goat and milk, and they couldn't eat the Oh, it's beef ridiculous. But if, I mean, you you could turn blue, yeah. and none of them could keep it. Now, here's the clincher. Yeah, none of them. Here's the clincher. Legalism separates you from Jesus Christ. It does. Yeah. Amen. It does. It does. It does. And legalism comes line. with all these other spirits, with pride, with arrogance, with, like you said, they, they want to put others down, so it's jealousy, envy. It comes with all these other things. And the point is, you know, if we are legalistic, we can't have grace mm -hmm. because grace and legalism is like oil and water. They just don't mm -hmm. mix. That's right. You're taking away grace if you're literally we're operating in law. And where, what happens where there's law? Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing. Like, you're just, you're miserable. Think about it. Who can operate, like you said, 700 laws, who can operate like that and have joy and have the fruits of the Spirit? Yeah. It's just misery. Yeah. It I'd rather have misery. grace. What, what yeah. follows grace? Yeah. Joy. And you look yes. younger and you feel younger and you, you're, you're happy. You're just, I yeah. mean, you have the fruit of the Spirit when you operate in grace. There's such a difference. Yeah. yeah. Rules, mm. regulations. We even see it in some of the denominational churches oh, we see today, it unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, and and what happens yes. is they're saying, "We need you, Jesus. We'll make up our own rituals." Well, we, and oh rules. my God, isn't that scary? And yeah. then you know to follow along with that. What both of you said, Matthew 23, 5 says, and we have to close the show with this, everything they do is done for people to see. Yes. They make their yes. flactor trees ride and their tassels on their garments long. Mm -hmm. And you know, everything <laughs> basically in legalism is so that you can like, you know, like what Jen yeah, said earlier, really, everybody had a great, pride. yeah, uh -huh. everybody had great things to say yeah. so that you, you can all this outward thing. And Jesus said, I'll look at the inward. Yeah. Listen, if you don't know Jesus today, please remember receive him. All you got to do is say, forgive me of my sin, Jesus. He said, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, and you're saved. Let those two merge. So let's say today, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart. I merge them too. I believe you're the son of God. I believe you really died on a cross and took everything for me and that you rose again and that you're coming back to take me. I want to be in heaven. I don't want to go to an eternal hell. And there's a message out there right now that hell is an eternal. I'm telling you, that's not true. That is not true. And we're, so we're seeing some uh, good ministers preach that now. Wow. So, so they follow that name and they think, oh, this was a good teacher. And so, so they must be right. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Please listen to the Holy Spirit. Let him lead and guide you into all truth. Hell and heaven's eternal. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Yeah. Just yeah. go in Luke 21 you know, mm -hmm. with Lazarus. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 And, and right there, that'll prove it. Uh -huh. Anyways, we love you. Uh, Jesus loves you more. Please go to our website. Help us keep coming into your home and around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ by a $15 love offering or more. We'll get God's view anointing oil in your hands. And uh, I'll tell you what, God has been giving us some heavy duty subjects, but he knows what everybody needs. And he's coming back for a spotless bride, not for some mamby pamby. And so he's <laughs> going to deal with our Amen. hearts. Yes, he's going to deal yeah. with our hearts. And we here at God's view are going to listen to God and bring you yes. what he says. We love you. It's only yes. goodbye for today. Tell people about us. Mwah. Did you know that the Bible talks more <laughs> about hell than heaven?